There's a stupid doctrine out there that, that we dealt with earlier this year in our church, this, this foolish heresy that crept into our church called modalism or Pentecostal oneness doctrine. And it's got to be the most foolish, unbiblical garbage ever. And here's what it basically teaches. Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Shew us the Father? It teaches that the Father and the Son are the same person. But they actually believe, no, 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 it's just one spirit, one entity, one God, one person, just manifesting himself in three different modes or in three different ways. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Yes, these three are not three, but one. These three are one. These three are one. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. But they actually believe, no, 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 it's just one spirit. Yes, there is one spirit of truth, not two, but one. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yes, this is the truth. The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, is the Holy Spirit of Jesus. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. But they actually believe, no, 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 it's just one Spirit. Yes, there is one Holy Spirit of Jesus, not two, but one. The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. One entity, one God, one God, one God. Yes, there is one God, not two gods. Not three gods, but one. And so, without controversy, great is the mystery, of godliness, God was manifest in the flesh. Equals, Jesus, justified in the spirit. Equals, Jesus, seen of angels. Equals, Jesus, preached unto the Gentiles. Equals, Jesus, believed on in the world. Equals, Jesus, received up into glory equals Jesus. 1 Timothy 3.16 That's the illustration that they used. The, the heretics who were uh, perverting and, uh, this doctrine and teaching this in our church who we threw out of the church for teaching these lies and heresy. Look, it's so unbiblical because then you know what you end up with? You end up with God loving himself. God loving himself. God sending himself. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't even make any sense. Yes, this is true. The light makes no sense for the blind. For this man, have eyes but do not see, and have ears but do not hear. Because God said in Isaiah 43 11, I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. No Savior. And so, whosoever believes that Jesus is the Savior, is born of God. 1 John 5, 1. And that means, that Jesus, and the God of Israel, are one, and the same God. Not two gods, not three gods, but one, and the same God.